Hey guys, so it's the next day now. Yesterday I got really overwhelmed actually. I think I set up the Cricut machine and then what happened was um, I like loaded the software and everything and I think that um, the software didn't load properly or something. So I was trying to um, cut out a shape, just do a test shape and um, it wasn't working, like the software wasn't loading the um, page properly and I obviously have never used this software before so I didn't realise that that's what was happening. I couldn't figure out how to like just cut a simple shape and I was just getting really frustrated. I was watching loads of tutorials on YouTube and like trying to troubleshoot like what was wrong which is like when you're excited and you've got a product and you just want to start sort of um, sorting out and cutting straight away it's really frustrating and I just got really annoyed and then um, I just took a break and then um, um, I closed the software, just took a break, did something else, read for a bit, did some cooking and then I loaded the software again to try and figure it out and it loaded properly this time so everything that I was doing before was correct it just didn't, I, just, I don't know what happened, it just didn't load properly the first time one of the plugins or something so then it worked and it was fine so I did that and then I um, designed something on my iPad on um, Procreate and then I used the debossing tool to do that, in fact that's just here I can show you but I designed like um, this really intricate design and obviously the debossing tool, I don't think you're going to be able to see that actually, it just looks like a blank piece of paper but basically the debossing tool debossed it into this piece of paper but the detail is so fine that it took like an hour and it's all a bit like it doesn't look that great so you just it's just really trial and error to see what works and what doesn't work today's task is so the scrapbooks that I designed in my previous vlog um, I did take some product photos of them but I don't like the photos I don't like how they've turned out so I need to redo those product photos for my Etsy shop um, but I thought that because now I've got the Cricut machine, um, those little tags that I made for the um, scrapbook, like um, the, the bits with the writing that I made on my manual die cutting machine, I think I'm going to try and remake them on the Cricut to see how much quicker it is. Um, and also so that if um, anyone orders a scrapbook, I don't have to then use my manual die cutting machine. I can actually use a different font on the Cricut machine. Now Cricut comes with something called Cricut Access which you get a 30 day free trial for when you buy your machine but obviously after that you have to pay like £7 something every month and to be honest with you I don't really think that it's worth it for me at this stage because a lot of the projects that are on there that you can um, make, I don't. they look amazing and I would love to have the time to make all of them but I don't have the materials to make all of like the quilting, I don't have a sewing machine, that's not really, I mean it's amazing, it would be great to like be able to make all of that stuff but for my Etsy shop, that's my Etsy shop's all about sort of scrapbooks and paper craft and that sort of thing at the moment, obviously that might change in the future. Um, so what I'm trying to do today is I'm trying to download some um, fonts on my laptop so that I can use the fonts on Cricut Design Space so that I can um, test out. So I'm going to do some two things. I'm going to download some fonts and then I'm going to test them. I'm going to test them with the pens. So on the Cricut machine you can actually do like use Cricut pens to do writing. So I'm going to try those fonts out and then I'm also going to test some of them um, cutting out. So I'm going to test do some uh, test fonts. T test some fonts out. Make a list of my favourites so that I can then use them. So that's what today's task is and that's what I've already started doing at the moment. I'm hoping that will take me probably up till lunchtime. If I have time I'll do the um, product photos today but I doubt that I will most likely tomorrow. That's the task for tomorrow. So yeah that's basically what I'm doing today. So I'm going to get on with it now and yeah. <laughs> My feet, I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean You know I don't like it When you're packing your back And turning your back Calling me a liar 
calling me a liar. So I'm just about to do a test car, but I thought I'd show you. So this is, I call her Rani, but her actual name's Willow. And she's my neighbour's cat, she's not mine, I wish she was mine. And she is the cutest thing in this whole world, and I absolutely adore her. And she sits on my patio every day, and she just sleeps. And sometimes I go outside and play with her. But yeah, and just look how well my plants are doing. I remember the last time I showed you them, but they have grown so much. And these strawberries over here, so can you see the white flowers, that middle bit? We'll go into a strawberry and I think there's some more flowers coming up as well so hopefully soon a couple of weeks should have some yummy strawberries and my little Rani Okay, so it's just finished cutting, so I am going to have a look at these and make a list of the fonts that I think have cut well, so that I can use them. Okay, so this is test number two and I use a different setting. I use the medium cardstock setting. But you know, it still hasn't really cut that, it's better. Not cut very well at all. Okay, so third time lucky. I used the uh, glitter cardstock setting, which I didn't realise there was. Otherwise, I would have just used that the first time. But it has actually cut now. My mat is so dirty. If anyone knows how to keep this clean, I've only had it a day, but there's so much dust on it. And if you don't realise, this is sticky. That's why it's got to be sticky so that these things stick on. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows how I can keep this clean. I do cover it with the cover, but dust seems to get everywhere. But yeah, I think all of these have cut really well, actually. Now what I need to do is I need to test it with adhesive on the back, because that will obviously make it thicker. Um, and I'm worried that it won't cut, so yeah, we'll try that next. Coming over, that would be a problem. 
If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it, solve it, yeah. What we do, it stays between me and you. Me and you. What we do, it stays between me and you. be happy and if you're happy then let's be happy then let's be happy yeah me and you what we do it stays between me and you Thank you.